it's time. It's time for the hard conversations. And they consist of one two-letter word. No, 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 and no. That's the hard conversation you need to have with yourself, but is it easy? Absolutely not. Simple two-letter word to yourself may have you feeling some kind of way about yourself, and to that I say, welcome to adulthood. Now, unless you're one of the fortunate people where your money is just that long, you don't have to tell yourself no when you can provide every single want that you may have. That's great, that's awesome, I love that for you. I'm not in that tax bracket, so therefore I will still have to tell myself no. I do it all the time and uh, yeah, guess what? My goals for current stability, future me, and just being a responsible adult, it means I can't say yes to every little thing I want. I don't care what it may be, but usually, yes, I'm talking about sneakers and also clothes. Now, if you're like me, you think, okay, don't we all understand that you can't just continue to say yes, 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 yes to everything? For a lot of us, that is accurate, but there are still some people, it's usually young adults, not attacking you guys, but it can often be young adults who don't understand the concept of telling yourself no. That's actually the difficult thing of being an adult. They never told you. Yes, it's great. You can pick as soon as you're an adult, how late you stay up, and if you wanna have ice cream for breakfast. I love Ben and Jerry's, but the most difficult part of being an adult no one is there to really tell you no you have to do it and if you don't the consequences they come back to bite you so what do these hard conversations look like in sneakers well let's take a look and let's say four sneakers drop in one month a few ground rules for this month and only four sneakers dropping we know this is the twilight zone because 20 pairs drop in a day but for this specific month and looking ahead, you vow to pad your emergency fund and save more of your net income. And I don't blame you with the way the economy is right now. In 2023, you promise future you, you know what? I like you. I don't want you to eat ramen when you're old. So I'm gonna do something for you. In your honor, I'll add more money if I haven't started to add any into my retirement account maybe my own ira or roth ira i'll add money in there because you deserve more than ramen when you're retired okay so if we do the math you've likely removed 400 dollars from your spending fund side note that doesn't have to be 400 i want you to comfortably put in what you can within your budget that won't always be like 250 here 500 here no and if you're just starting out that may be something like 50 dollars or just a hundred dollars and i love that for you the consistency and the intention that is half the battle okay but now what because i just said you likely removed 400 dollars if you're saving 200 and putting 200 into the market so what about the four pairs that are coming out that you really really like hard conversation i need you to rank those pairs and in, in terms of how much you love them that's gonna be the start because liking something is totally different than loving it and even if you love it we're coming back to that very hard question do i need it and even once you have those ranked take a look at your top two again if anything is overkill past what you already own in your closet, if you made resolutions to try other brands, try other colorways, then maybe you switch that order around. But nonetheless, whichever pairs rank third and fourth, no is the answer to yourself. No, you're tackling this in three ways that month. Yes, you're treating yourself to two pairs, but you're also saving, you're also investing. And let's talk about one of those hard conversations I'm having with myself 2023 for Fear of God and Birkenstock. For some time now, we've been teased with these Birkenstock collaborations by Fear of God. They were in lookbooks from 2022, but we didn't actually know if they would release, when they would release. And now Jerry has blessed everyone to let you know, hey, they're coming out. They're a real thing. They weren't just for the promo shoot of Essentials in 2022. So you have Los Feliz that is set to drop as soon as this year, like literally this month and then next month. But you can look for a drop, I believe, January 25th. And so you have five colors yeah it's five colors in total in suede you'll actually have taupe you'll have cement and you'll have ash but you have melange which is also it's just a mixed texture think about the wool texture that you see on birkenstock boston's which i have a pair and i love them you'll get two other colorways in that uh and i believe you have cement melange and then ash melange again you have five that are set to drop and you guys already know he delivered on the imagery 
it it connects with you it's beautiful it's minimalistic it's artistic all of that great love it yes i think they're awesome are they four hundred dollars awesome though that's the question now i'm curious to see with two very loyal fan bases on each side of birkenstock and fear of god how do they fare when they release at that $400 price point. I wouldn't be shocked if they sell out because you may be accustomed to that $400 price point with fear of God. Remember, this is mainline, this is not essentials. You're likely used to that. And Birkenstock has a very dedicated following. However, for myself right now, as it stands, I don't need to pay $400 essentially for the sandals. I just don't, that's just for me. I've learned some lessons, okay? Number one, be patient. So many things restock and they go on sale, especially for fear of God. They can go on sale up to 60 or $70. It really just depends. And if it doesn't, it's not the end of the world for me. Also, regular Birkenstock Bostons that I still want more of now that I've gone down this rabbit hole, trying to find the taupe colorway in my size because i have a smaller foot it's not that easy everyone and their mom buys them up so if you really want to know a shoe that is stellar and yes it really received a lot of hype over the last year it's great it's worth it to me i wear mine every single day yes i want more i actually bought some birkenstock socks on ebay today so that's been like the gist of uh, how i guess i'll participate in this entire birkenstock fear of god news so just to give you a heads up no i won't have a pair here on the channel at least no time soon but it is dropping and it is one of those hard conversations of no could i get it yes i however am not negotiating with myself in the goals that i have in place especially for january January. Sorry, not sorry. Jerry choosing to drop the news of this coming out in late January. That's not enough time, my boy. I'm sorry. Like, I just got to be real with you. I have other things that are in place. Hit, hit the savings uh, mark that I wanted to check off. Start of this month hitting the investment one which we'll do a video on that next week and i'm going to continue with trying to get that campus pair by bad bunny at the end of the month if i don't get that i'll figure it all out but i appreciate you guys tuning into this video on talks with tj as always act your age not your shoe size peace